Are you trying to become the pack king? Well, if you are, make sure to head over to MOEXP and get cheap and reliable coins. Use code JACKB for 5% off. What's up, boys? Welcome back to another video. And this is just going to be a main outlook and how we're going to make coins throughout the week. As you can see, we got a loaded schedule right now. It is subject to change, change as they say right here. Uh, as a possible hurricane. But we got AK today. I'm going to go over that too, how we're going to be coins. Team of the week on Tuesday, Gridiron Guardians either Wednesday or Thursday and then Team Diamonds, I would assume either the day after or the same day. And then obviously Legends Saturday, we got a huge week, 91 overalls now with everything. Um, and yeah, let's get into it. We got this one time AKA pack. And you know, it's 5,000 training, which is a lot, but you know, these packs have been a little bit, little fun. We, I haven't really been playing too much, but we do have the new uh, Mutt Champs Weekend League. So it should be interesting to see. And the reason why I'm opening this pack right now is just get some training. And, uh, you know, it's a more fun way of getting the training. I wouldn't recommend it. But if you also see, 79s are up a lot right now. And I have a lot of 79s, 78s, 80s, and 81s are all up big time because you have to complete the sets for the new Mutt Champs. So, yeah, that is, that is big time. Um, you're going to be able to make a lot more coins just out of every single pack that you open you know other things that you do look at this so i quick sell that i get a thousand training training is still very very expensive like around 25 per and look at this i can sell these 80 79s 79 78s for over 4,000 coins each so i'm making back 12k this is not necessarily a method this is just like if you want to get training and you don't feel like buying it and you don't mind doing a little bit of a risk because like i said this is a risk these are packs but it is pretty fun to open these as you can see Kadarius tony is 78 overall still selling for like 4,000 coins and so if you guys have 78s and 79s in your binder make sure to sell them because it is big money right now especially because they normally go for like half the price and as i was opening these i stopped the recording because i just wanted to get my training and just like that, we made 9,000 for each of these. We made 15,000 over from that. And we pull an 89 that nets us 200K. Listen, this is not a coin making method. Don't expect to make coins. But when the market is high in times like this, it isn't the worst thing in the world. You will not lose as many coins as you normally would. Because right now with the market high, even the 78 overall is going for four to 5,000 coins. This pack is... It, it, it right now with the price of training, I do think it's very good. 83s can quick sell, but uh, these guys you gotta sell them on the market. It is not worth quick selling those cards. And listen, I obviously opened a decent amount of packs, but oh, like I said, the only reason that it's okay to open the packs right now is because you're making a lot of coins back. But even this pack, I'm making back like I'm almost breaking even on this pack just from those two 81 elites. And like it's only a matter of time before you pull something huge and just like that i pulled something huge obviously there's no lts in packs or anything and with training varieties training is holding its value so even the high overalls will sell for a lot and obviously this pack wasn't the greatest but i'm still making some coins back and with team diamonds coming around the corner you never know which card is going to randomly go for a ton so yeah let's open our ak pack and as i say that boom another two cards Let's open our AK pack. Those those packs were, were actually solid for me right then and there. Obviously, sometimes they aren't going to be as good, and you have to get lucky. But with the price of everything right now, the it, those packs aren't the worst thing ever. And we pull an 88. Is that 87 plus? Because this might end up being a lot. Yep, 130. I mean, you, you have to open this pack regardless because the on the chance that you can even you know possibly get the 90 overall the 91s you obviously have to take that chance and no matter what with the price of training you're basically making your training back let's just open one of these just because why not and then i'll open yeah these train variety packs are very very interesting i have to say but something that is interesting is these 79 gridiron guardian packs because you are getting guaranteed 79s and you know if you pull anything better than that you're obviously making profit but the 79s still sell for 5,000 coins so there really isn't as much risk. Obviously, there's no LTEs in the packs, but you know these packs aren't the worst thing in the world now that the 79s and 80s go for more, you know, more coins. So you can actually roll that pack for profit. 
in my opinion the competitive pass once again is an absolute flop obviously you get xp and some coins but at level 11 you get lance mccutcheon you can't even quick sell him for you know good good training it, it's just bad like an 89 overall right tackle is the worst thing ever but he's going to be useless you know in two weeks by the time a lot of you guys get him because there's just going to be so many extra things and you know this is obviously why uh the 79s or 78s through 81s are up in price so make sure you go through your binder and sell all those because it's only going to be up for today and by the time tomorrow comes they're honestly probably going to take a massive hit and throughout the days will take hits but another thing that you guys can do is the reason why i don't mind opening some of these game day packs is because i'm going to sell my 78s and 79s but besides that these 77s these guys are still all super cheap like christian barmore let's see what price he is you know he, he's cheap he's not probably doesn't actually sell for 3000 even if he does whatever but with team diamonds coming around these cards might end up being some juiced like juiced prices like I wouldn't be surprised if some like random card like an Audentate, who knows, maybe just skyrockets at like 30k. Especially on a team like the Raiders, if they end up getting a really good team diamond, you know, those cards, some of them are going to go up in price. And with no gap packs, there really isn't much supply besides, you know, the game day packs now. And, and that's why the game day packs really haven't been bad at all since, you know, the, the price of training have skyrocketed to new highs. But other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to sell your 78s through 81s. And, you know, make sure to open that AKA pack because those are basically guaranteed profit. And you can do some calculations. And if you get lucky enough in those Gridiron Guardian packs, you can definitely get some good profit. But without LTDs in, I don't even want to take the time, you know, to buy trainings to still so inflated. But if you guys are going to do that, make sure you sell everything. Maybe you can read, maybe quick sell your 83s and, you know, but I would probably sell everything if you're going to do any rolls. Same thing with doing these packs. Obviously, if you don't have a lot of coins, do not open any packs. I don't care, even if you're trying to get lucky, because, you know, you need... The only reason I can afford to keep all these 70 plus overalls in my binder is because I don't need the coins right now. So, like, subscribe. Peace out.